So in this theorem, um, we're looking at the connection between the semi-perimeter of a triangle, ABC. And so this is our kind of base triangle that we're working at on this problem. And then um, an X circle drawn in and the points of tangency, L and M, and how the semi-perimeter relates to those. And it turns out um, that it's a, um, a very doable problem and, and a somewhat surprising result. Um, if you take a look at this, uh, using equal tangents, we know that BL is going to equal to BF because L and F are the points of tangency of this X center, and by equal tangents, BL equals BF. And then the same way, we know that CF equals CM because they are also equal tangents. So we've got these two sets of equal tangents. Well, if you notice, the perimeter of this triangle, if we were to um, refer to this as um, x, and refer to this as c, and refer to this as b, and then refer to this as y, well, it's easy to see that the perimeter of this triangle is b plus c plus x plus y. But we also can see that this um, x and y make up the third side, that is c. And so, um, or that is A, so we can do that substitution, and that equals the perimeter of the triangle. So we know that B plus C plus X plus Y is the perimeter. But we also know that X plus C is AL, and we know that B plus Y is AM. And so we get this interesting result that AL plus AM is equal to the perimeter. And then we can take that and use one last theorem, and that one last theorem is that when you look at MA and LA, AL and AM, they are also equal tangents. A is a point outside of the circle, L and M are your tangent points, so they're equal tangents, so they're the same length, and so you can substitute in AL for AM, and you get 2AL equals the perimeter, and AL equals the perimeter over 2, which is your semi-perimeter. And so that gives us this result that is a somewhat surprising result. It doesn't even really look like it until you look really closely, um, but is a can be a very powerful use of lengths in a, a triangle with an X circle.